On a clear day when the sky is blue and there is just enough breeze to blow the clouds away, you can stand on the big hill above the valley and watch Duck and Oliver far below, busily at work on Duck's branch line near the sea. The two engines are very proud of their matching coats of gleaming colour. Oliver often talks about the time that Douglas saved him from scrap. If it wasn't for his help, Oliver will say, I might have been caught when I ran away from the scrapyard and I would never have come to live here on the Fat Controller's Railway. The other engines all wanted to know about Oliver's adventures. Amazing, remarked Henry. Oliver, said James, has resource. And sagacity, put in Gordon. What does that mean? whispered Percy. I think, replied Thomas, it's about being clever and wise. He is... Finish, Gordon, an example to us all. I'm sorry to say that Oliver became very puffed up in the smoke box. Henry says I'm amazing, he's right. He whistled as he swooshed along the line. One day, the fat controller came to see him. You are doing well. Now, you must learn how to look after trucks. Every wise engine knows that you cannot trust trucks. The other engines warned Oliver, but he took no notice. You think I can't manage, he said huffily. Gordon knows better. He says I'm sagacious. You may be good gracious, or whatever you call it, but trucks can be troublesome and... Say no more, Doc, interrupted Donald. It may be a pity, but the wee engine will have to learn for himself. Oliver pulled some loaded trucks to a siding and pushed the empties to the chute. Then he came back to take the loaded trucks away. They were comfortable and didn't want to move. What right has he to poke his funnel in here, they grumbled. We want Duck or Donald. Or Douglas. Look sharp, puffed Oliver. That's not the way to speak, hissed the trucks. We'll pay him out. Oliver heard nothing. The trucks moved smoothly at first, then suddenly Oliver felt them push forward. His driver applied the brakes, but they were useless against the surging trucks. On, 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 yelled the trucks. Oliver fought hard, but still they forced him on and on. At last, the trucks grew tired. I'm winning, gasped Oliver. But it was too late. Oliver lay, bruised and bemused, bunkered down in the turntable well. Duck surveyed the damage. Hello, Oliver. Are you being a good, gracious engine? Beg pardon, of course, but we really don't like this sort of surprise. Donald and Douglas will miss their turntable until it is mended. That evening, Oliver was hauled gently to safety. I'm sorry, sir, he said to the fat controller. I should have listened to Duck's advice. I don't feel good gracious, whatever it is. I just feel silly. Well, Oliver, replied the fat controller, now you know the damage trucks can do. Yes, I do, sir, groaned Oliver. I look like a load of scrap iron. Ho, ho. Oh, I don't think so, laughed the fat controller. But you do need to go to the works to be mended. The other engines now felt sorry for Oliver. The branch line won't be the same without you, whistled Duck. Come back soon. A few days later, Oliver did come back. His coat gleamed brighter than ever. He was a wiser engine too, and never made a mistake about trucks again. <laughs>